So uh, what's up guys? If you're watching this video, you're currently waiting to download or already downloading the new Modern Warfare 2 update 1.17 for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. In case you guys didn't know, this is actually the Season 3 update, which comes with a whole bunch of new stuff. A new sniper rifle, a new battle rifle, two new automatic pistols to be introduced in the mid-season, a new Black Cell Battle Pass upgrade, in case you want to spend the extra money for it, the new operators of Alejandro and of course Valeria, a bunch of new multiplayer maps, and so much more. If you guys want to know what's included with this update and be informed about everything for the future of Call of Duty, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I upload news and update videos like this from time to time, as well as Warzone 2 videos and store bundle videos. So if any of that interests you or you vibe my personality, then you've come to the right channel. Go ahead and click that sub button. I just appreciate you for being on this video right now. But yeah, with all that formal introduction out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about Season 3 and when the update goes live and how big it is and all of that. So starting things off, how big is this update for every platform for Modern Warfare 2? So when it comes to the PS5, since I got the PS5 and PS5 can download the updates early, it ended up being around 17 gigabytes, around 16.9 more or less. So just make sure you have enough space on your PS5 to kind of do that. And in comparison, if you're wondering about PS4, I also have the PS4 version on my PS5. So I got the update early on PS4 as well. And that ended up being around 21 gigabytes. So it's around 17 gigabytes for the newer generation of consoles and 21 for the older generation of consoles. So you can kind of, you know, assume how the Xbox is going to be for each platform and PC shouldn't be too different. So have around 20 gigabytes of space just in case on every platform. And when will this update go live? Depending on when this video goes out, it'll probably be already out or it'll be out in a few hours. It'll be out around noon time, Eastern Standard Time, later today, uh, April 12th. And now with all the logistical stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and see all the new stuff that's included with this Season 3 update for Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. So starting things off with the best mode in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the multiplayer, we're actually getting Gunfight into Modern Warfare 2, which is 2v2 or 3v3. And in case you've never played Modern Warfare 2019, Gunfight is placed on super small maps, where basically it's a kind of like S&D-like sort of mode, where two players go against two other players on these small maps and battle it out to win the round. And I think it's like four or five rounds and then you win. And it's a really cool mode. They used to have gunfight tournaments in Modern Warfare 2019, and I hope they add that here towards Modern Warfare 2 as well. But in case you guys are wondering about the map rotation, we got this alley map, which is somewhere in the Al Mazra region. We have Black Sight, which is a small map as you guys can see here. And it's actually the new Gulag for Warzone 2 as well. So you can get some practice in here. They also decided to add Shipment as a gunfight map, which is kind of funny. And of course, we got Exhibit, which is actually Museum but you know, made smaller to be a gunfight map as well. So that's pretty cool to see gunfight with four maps, you know, two of them be recycled, but two of them being a little bit more brand new. Moving onwards, we have the three new 6v6 maps and two new battle maps to come throughout the season of Modern Warfare 2. At launch, we are getting Paleo's Lighthouse, which is a new 6v6 map that has a really dope lighthouse and is a little bit more darker, which is pretty cool, but not too dark. The second map though is black gold and this one is completely dark like they actually have night vision goggles in this freaking map so it might play a little bit weird hopefully it's not too dark where you don't you're not forced to use the night vision goggles but i know a lot of people hated the night vision mode in model for 2019 so we'll see how this one plays but it's a 6v6 map which is nice the two battle maps that are coming at launch are rohan oil which you guys can see you know it, it looks very similar to the little area in ground war or in warzone 2 i should say and we also have the Satik Cave Complex, which in case you're not, you don't uh, recognize it, this is actually Afghan. There is actually Afghan from the original Modern Warfare 2 here on this battle map, which I wish they would just add to freaking 6v6. Why don't you add Afghan to 6v6 and as well as Terminal from Ground War into 6v6 as well. It's just so weird, but they're both, the, both of the battle maps are inspired by the Warzone 2 map, which is pretty cool. And finally, for the last 6v6 map, which is actually coming during the mid-season update, we got Albora and Hatchery, and all we got is a picture of it, which looks really cool. It actually reminds me of the campaign mission, the All Gilead of 2 campaign mission, and I believe that's where this map is going to take place, which is pretty dope. The new modes coming to Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer include Cranked, which is 
super freaking amazing. This is coming at launch. And in case you guys don't know what Cranked is, when you get a kill, you actually blow up after 30 seconds if you don't find somebody. So people are forced to rush in this mode, which is freaking amazing. When you get a kill, you reset back to 30 seconds before you blow up. And I think it's a really dope way to include to increase the, the gameplay speed of the, ga of the game. We also have Face Off, which is part of the gunfight mess, which is basically just respawn with the gunfight mess, which should be pretty cool. It's the little 3v3 mode. And we also have Ground War Infected, which is basically infected, but on the Ground War map. So you're going to have like 64 players going against you if you're the last one standing, which would be pretty freaking dope. And in terms of rank play, you guys already know there's going to be some new rank play rewards, which include these weapon charms, a new TAC-56 blueprint, as you guys can see there, and some other sort of good goodies, including a nice little camo as well. When it comes to spec ops during the mid-season update, there actually will be a new co-op spec ops mission, which is cool. And we got the new raid episode, which should progress the story of the previous two raids, which should be pretty cool to see. Now with Model Warfare 2 stuff out of the way, let's talk about Warzone 2 and DMZ stuff really quickly. If I was to talk about every single thing they're adding to Warzone 2, this video would be like 30 minutes long and I don't want to do that. But but starting things off, we got the new mode of Massive Resurgence, which is basically just Resurgence on Almazar. Actually 150 player Resurgence. And I think this should play really well uh, in terms of a fast-paced mode for Almazra. Plunder actually arrives during the mid-season update, which is actually really cool. If you guys didn't play Plunder in Warzone 1, you basically respawn. You know, it's not like Resurgence where you're limited with your respawns. But this one, you respawn and you try to get the most cash possible. And this is where people would go to level up their guns if they didn't have Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. So, really cool mode that I'm glad they're finally adding, which should have been at launch. There's a new Gulag in Almazra, which is Black Sight, which I, you know, covered before. And there's some new and returning features to Battle Royale as well, including redeploy drones, where you climb up them, kind of like the redeploy balloons in Warzone 1. We also have the Tempered Plate Carriers, which in case you remember the Tempered perk, it allowed you to only need to put on two armor plates so that you have the full 150 armor health. And that's what this is essentially. If you find this plate carrier in the world of Warzone 2, you basically have Tempered, which is really dope. You know, UAV towers, which we saw during Rebirth Island. Uh, last year. There's also this perk package items where you can actually find perks throughout the world, which we saw during Warzone you know, 1 last year. Uh, deployable buy stations are coming during the mid-season update. Uh, the Gulag entry kit, basically you have another chance at the Gulag if you find this in Almazra. And when it comes to DMZ, we're also getting a barter system where you can kind of like trade stuff to, to kind of get other stuff or whatever, it's, which is really cool because you can like craft things now. We got a workbench where you can actually customize the attachments of your weapon during the gameplay of DMZ, which is nice because you can't customize your gun, you know, in the world like you can with Mod for 2 multiplayer. So that's a cool way to add it. And we're getting active duty operator slots. So you have like separate operators where you can kind of like have a saved set of, uh, of items, basically. If you, you ever play Call of Duty Ghosts, it's kind of like that. It, it makes a lot more sense if you just read the patch notes. I'd rather not explain it here because I'd be here forever. Uh, links will be in the description, of course. And we're getting the new Redacted Faction, which is going to come with new rewards for you to grind for and, you know, more new stuff, which is awesome. And there's going to be new bosses in DMZ as well. But like I said, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to Warzone 2 and DMZ, including Rank Play, which is coming for Warzone 2 during the mid-season update. Uh, but at launch, we're getting one-shot snipers if you have the explosive ammunition on the gun. We're getting movement updates for both Warzone 2 and Model for 2 multiplayer. So there's a lot that I can talk about, but I'd rather you guys just read it in the description down below. I'm more so just covering the major stuff. Now, before we talk about Alejandro and Valeria and the new weapons, operators and guns that you can all get for free from the Battle Pass, I want to talk about the Battle Pass upgrade known as Black Cell. Now, instead of having the premium Battle Pass, which is where you bought, you know, you bought the Battle Pass for 24 the COD points, you got like 20 extra tier skips. They're now making this whole Black Cell Battle Pass upgrade and got rid of that 2400 COD point deal. So Black Cell is basically a $30 sort of bundle, if you want to call it that. And yeah, it sounds weird to be paying $30 for this when, you know, you could have just done it with COD points before. Uh, but I think it's worth it for the price that you get 1,100 COD points up front. So it's kind of like the Pro Pack bundles, which I've talked about on this channel, uh, where you buy a bundle and you get COD points back. Because if you were going to buy COD points anyways, you might as well just buy this bundle. So you get 1,100 COD points straight up. 
and then you can earn back up to 1400 Call of Duty points from progressing through the battle pass as you regularly would if you bought the regular battle pass for a thousand COD points. And then you get a whole bunch of all the cool stuff. You get this M4 blueprint, which is actually animated. You get the new operator of Adam, which is animated and looks really cool as well. You get a finishing move, a vehicle skin, and you obviously get the 20 tier skips once again, 25 if you're on PlayStation. So you still get those battle pass tier tier skips that you would have gotten before. And an underrated bonus that really comes in clutch with this Black Cell upgrade is that instead of starting at Sector 1, like you usually would with other battle passes, you actually start at an alternate path if you want to, to unlock some of the higher tier rewards. So we call this the Black Cell starting point. So if you guys see this new battle pass, this is the, actually the Season 3 battle pass. Uh, instead of starting at C1, you know, down there, you actually start at that Black Cell spot up there. And as you guys can see on your left and your right, we've got the new freaking battle rifle, the blueprint battle rifle on the left side there. And the right side, we have the blueprint sniper rifle, which is the FJX Imperium. So instead of just grabbing the, the, the new guns with no attachments, you can actually get the blueprints for them and start off with attachments and, you know, level up the guns that way without having to deal with having no attachments, which is actually really cool in my eyes. And you get some of the other operator skins that are a lot more closer uh, up there as well, instead of having to grind through all the, um, the the sectors, basically. And you have the Battle Pass freaking tier skips already, so you can just eat immediately skip to that and just have the weapons. So, And you get 12 alternate operator skins, which basically gives you like gold versions of the operator skins within the Battle Pass. So... In my opinion, I see it as something that I'm going to get anyways because I always got the Battle Pass Premium upgrade, but now it's nice to see that this Black Cell upgrade gives you a lot more stuff which just for just 10 bucks more, but I'm still just getting the COD points back. I'm getting 1100 COD points back for the extra $10 that I would have spent anyways eventually because I buy a lot of bundles for this channel. So for me, it's worth it, but if you don't want to buy it, you don't have to buy it. You can just get the regular Battle Pass for a 1,000 COD points and progress through the Battle Pass as you would and get everything. This is just extra stuff for people that just want to spend the extra money. So hopefully I explained that. Uh, you know, it's worth it for me. If it's worth it for you, you know, it's worth it for you. Everybody has their own sort of, you know, look at things, but I think it's worth it if you usually buy the, the premium Battle Pass anyways. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the new operators and the new weapons they can find in the Battle Pass. For free, by the way, for the weapons, you don't have to spend a single dime. You can just progress through the Battle Pass as you would without spending money and be happy that way. But starting things off, we got the two new operators, Alejandro and Valeria. And you actually get both of these operators by purchasing the Battle Pass, which is crazy. I really thought they would have put Valeria in a bundle, which they obviously have like better skins of Valeria in bundles, but it's nice to see that we can get the default Valeria uh, skin in the Battle Pass, which is good. And now let's move on to the weapons. First off, we got the FGX Imperium Sniper Rifle, which you can find in Sector C4, C11, or C17 if I'm reading the freaking patch notes right here. And this is the intervention from the original Modern Warfare 2. It's a bolt action sniper rifle with hard hitting 0.408 round. It has high damage, is a bolt action sniper rifle, and features a new attachment type for its weapon class with the carry handle, and it includes a tactical and a heavy version. It has the lowest fire rate in its class and just five rounds per reload. I'm going to guess that with a lot of these attachments, you'll be able to increase the fire rate. But it's like that, you know, the intervention in the original Model for 2 had a really fast fire rate. And this one, at least by the description, it has a slow fire rate. So we'll see. I'm pretty sure with attachments, like I said before, you can change it up and make it super quick. So I wouldn't worry too much about this description. And the other free weapon you can get in the Battle Pass is the Cronin Squall Battle Rifle, which is in Sector C11, uh, Sector 18 or even Sector 1. It has the best range and fire rate in its class, and it's a worthy contender for all modes. It also comes with six different ammo types with its powerful 6.8 rounds, and with two options for extended magazines, including a mighty 50 round drum attachment. I think this gun is gonna be completely overpowered, and keep, you know, keep your eyes out for a nice little multiplayer gameplay on my main channel, Hero, where I'm definitely gonna be using this battle rifle and destroying fools. And yeah, those are the main highlights of the battle pass. You obviously have a whole bunch of operator skins, some decals, some weapon blueprints of the new guns and existing guns. Just keep an eye out, you know, for my content and whatever videos I make on this. And finally, last, but definitely not least, we got some store bundle highlights. We got the Pro Pack 3 Manticore bundle, which is the one that comes with COD points, which you buy for direct money. It's actually $20, and you get 2,400 COD points back, 
as well as two weapon blueprints, including an assault rifle and a handgun, uh, a weapon charm, an emblem, and of course you get that really cool operator skin, which I think is going to be the highlight for this bundle, as well as just getting the COD points. We also have the classic ghost pack, which looks exactly like the Modern Warfare 2 uh, box art, the original Modern Warfare 2, so they're really trying to sell nostalgia with this one. There are no trace rounds for this bundle, it looks like, and it's going to feature the Loose Ends Blueprint and the Just Like Old Times Weapon Blueprint. So it'll probably come with like an M4 and like a uh, a freaking, uh, what's the, the revolver. Whatever the revolver is called, I can't even think right now. But uh, at least you'll have OG Ghost as an operator skin, so that might be worth it. Let me know if you want me to make a video on that when it comes out. There's also a Call of Duty League mid-season pack, which comes with this very buff, Doug sensor looking ass operator skin, which looks kind of funny. Which is obviously going to be for real money, probably like 5 or $10. And you get a SM, meta SMG blueprint, a charm, and pro player signatures as well. So it's going to be the signatures one. And then we also have other bundles to talk about. We got Tracer Pack Hopping Mad, which is going to come with some kind of Easter traces, it looks like. Even though trace, you know, Easter has already passed. Uh, we get these two funny looking operator skins, which are literally freaking rabbits. We get an SMG blueprint and a handgun blueprint from this one, and some other cool stuff as well. We also have Tracer Pack Dark Rituals 2, which looks absolutely freaking badass. Obviously, the first Dark Rituals bundle was really dope, so this one should be just as good with some really great tracers. And it's also going to come with emblem, loading screen, and a decal, which you guys know I love my decals. We also got Tracer Pack Cyber Riot, which has this futuristic looking Damascus operator skin, which just looks freaking incredible. It's also going to come with Tracer Rounds, of course, another freaking decal, and other dope stuff. And in the future, we got Tracer Pack Dr. Kushlov. So that's going to be a weed bundle right there for 420. We got Tracer Pack Anime Boogie, Ink Block Bundle, and the Throw Pack 09 Weapon Audio Bundle, and more. So we got a lot of cool bundles to look forward to. These are some of the cool, the craziest bundles I've seen so far for this game. And we all knew this was going to happen. In Season 3 of Vanguard, they came out with the Godzilla bundles and stuff. And we don't even know what the collaboration is this season until the, season, the Reloaded update for this game. So... We should see some interesting stuff for this for this for this whole game and uh let me know if you guys are excited for the update but that's enough of me talking i told you this video was going to be long if you needed any more extra extra information look in the link in the description uh but i've talked too much i am freaking tired let me go ahead and make this video i freaking love you guys if you sat through this entire video you're a real one you're really interested in this freaking update or you're interested in me which i appreciate Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, new channel, post notifications. If you guys enjoyed this video, it took me a lot of work to get this all together and give you guys the information. But we'll have banger videos on my main channel, banger videos here on the second channel, and banger videos on my third channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed to everything. And without further ado, I freaking love you all. I'm really excited to make videos on the new sniper and the new battle rifle. So stay tuned. I love you all and stay awesome.